guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five choices of mini bags across a series of different categories. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So the first one that I'm going to start off with is this little bag here and this would be my top choice for the best all-time classic bag. This is the Chanel rectangular mini classic flap. I have this in the black caviar chevron print with silver hardware. Chanel usually makes two sizes for this mini bag, one in the square mini and another in this rectangular mini. And even though mine is in this chevron print, they also have this in quilting, which might be a little more classic. Unlike the classic flaps, however, this is a single flap instead of a double flap. And on the inside, there's no like lipstick holders or anything. And there's just a zipper compartment here as well as a flat pocket here. So on the inside, it's the same as a square mini except for the shape. And it also has a back pocket. Now because there's no double flap on this, it fits almost the same as a medium large flap, except the price point is much lower. And because of that, I think this is a great investment piece. And this also goes with pretty much everything. Another difference between this and the medium large classic flap is that this strap is long enough to wear crossbody, which is really great and more versatile in my opinion. And the reason why I picked the rectangular mini instead of the square mini is because I feel like the rectangular mini has more of a classic shape while the square mini has more of a cute shape to it. This just looks like a shrunken down version of a classic flap. The next bag that I have to talk about is this bag right here. This is the Fendi Can I bag in a size small. And this is my choice for the best mini whimsical bag. And I love this bag ever since I first saw it on the runway last year. I thought it was so cute. I think it's such a fun print and I love the colors. I love the pastel colors of the studs over here. And the print all over is just really, really pretty to me. So you open this bag like this by pressing a button on the side. It's lined with microfiber and it has two compartments. And I love these two compartments because it makes it so much easier to organize your things in. I was very pleasantly surprised when I found out how much it can hold. I think the bag was made very nicely. The leather is soft. The hardware is palladium hardware. And on the sides, this bag also has these extra little rings so you can hold your bag charms on it. There's also a leather strap here and the strap is adjustable. So you can wear this crossbody or on the shoulder. And I love this bag and I can't stop looking at this bag just because it has such a happy print. If you're not into this print, this bag also comes in a variety of different colors and other styles. So. I know this might not be for everyone, but this is definitely my favorite. Now my pick for the best everyday bag is this Balenciaga City Bag in the mini size. I believe this one is from the Metal Plate series, just because of the way the hardware is styled. And it's in calfskin. It holds all of my essentials and more, so despite it looking like such a small bag, it does have a good amount of space in there. However, I do have to warn you guys, if you're looking to buy this bag, I would highly suggest you think about what type of leather you want this to be in. So the first bag that I got from Balenciaga is actually this one. This is in the classic lamb leather, but to me, I didn't like this leather at all. I like the smooth calf skin. Even if you might like a style, the leather might not work. I would highly suggest you guys find a leather that works for you. So another reason why I chose this bag as my favorite is just because the inside fits a lot more than you would think. It goes with a lot of things and on the days when I don't want it to be so flashy, I just turn it around and carry it like this so that it just looks like any regular black bag. The strap is detachable so you can just carry it on the crook of your arm or you could just hold it. But with the strap, you can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder, and the strap is adjustable as well. So I really do like how versatile this bag is. And I've used this bag almost every day for the past few months, and it hasn't really shown anywhere except for a tiny bit on one of the corners. So I really, really like this bag. The next bag that I have to show you guys is the best contemporary mini bag. This one is from Kate Spade. There are so many reasons why I picked this one as the best bag. One is because I love the simple clean lines that it has and because it looks so simple I think it goes with so many different outfits. And even though this is a very light colored bag 
I haven't had any troubles with color transfer at all. It doesn't have any signs of wear to it, except for a tiny bit of wear on the hardware where it's chipped a little, but that's to be expected after having it for so long and not treating it very well. It just has a magnetic closure, which is easy to get in and out of, and there's actually quite a lot of space in here because it's so wide. Another big reason why I love this bag is because the straps are so versatile. So on one side of the bag, this is not detachable, but on the other side, this is a hook like that. If you keep it hooked like this, you can wear it crossbody, but if you want to wear it as a shorter shoulder bag, you just stick this through the loop and then put the clasp here on the other one. And then the strap has been shortened so that you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Because of this, you can play around with it and you can even do another loop, hook it onto the other side. And here you have a smaller bag like this where you can carry it on your arm. Or you could choose not to have straps altogether and just tuck it all in and then use it as a clutch like this. Now as for the best evening bags, I was torn between these two bags right here and they're both from Dior. Originally I wanted to pick this one which is the Miss Dior Promenade. I've talked about this bag a little bit in my other video. I really love this because it's so functional. It comes in so many beautiful colors. The lambskin is very durable but because this exact style might not be produced anymore, I I think I would have to go with my other choice, which is the Diorama Wallet on Chain. I have this in powder pink with silver hardware. The strap is detachable, so it does come with a longer strap that's just a chain. And I think this is a great little bag if you want the look of a regular size Diorama but don't want to spend that much money. This is, I think, almost half the price of a regular sized diorama. This is kind of like the Chanel wallet on chain but instead of having six card compartments at the back this one only has four and there's no back pocket. But other than that it's about the same and it fits pretty much the same amount of things but this one is significantly less expensive again. So I've worn this a few times and one time when I wore it I got really bad color transfer all over the back here but I just took some wipes and I wiped it down and now you can't really tell that there was any color transfer. And the Diorama I think is getting more and more popular so um, this might be a good bag to consider. So those are all the bags that I'm going to talk about today. I hope you guys found this useful. I'd really like to start making videos more regularly from now on so if you have any requests on what you would like to see feel free to leave it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.